everyone. This is Amanda Moore from the Angelman Syndrome Foundation, and you're listening to the ASF Podcast, the show that explains everything you want to know about Angelman Syndrome. We're so excited you're here, and we hope you enjoy the show. Hello there, my favorite Angelman community. This is Amanda Moore, the CEO of the Angelman Syndrome Foundation, and we are so happy you joined us today for this very important and very inspiring podcast. I'm really excited for you to be able to hear a story from one of our fellow parents, Lizzie Sorday, who runs Angelman Today, share her journey and her hard work with her individual with Angelman Syndrome when it comes to her diet journey. You're going to learn so much from her today, and she is such a great resource for our community. So please sit back and enjoy. Hello, everybody. This is Lizzie Sordia, creator of Angelman Today, and welcome to the channel. And I wanted to share with you an article that I had written for the Angelman Syndrome Foundation back in May. And just to make it easy for you, I know that the article was a little bit long, so I wanted to record the audio version so that you can listen along like a podcast. So let's get into it. The Diet Therapy That Saved My Son's Life. I'm so grateful to be able to share our story with you. It starts out probably very similar to yours. It was Nathan's seizures that led us to his Angelman Syndrome diagnosis. Over 80% of individuals with AS develop epilepsy. Nathan's seizures were so bad and uncontrollable. He suffered cluster seizures, partial complex seizures, clonic seizures, head drops, non-convulsive status epilepticus, and seizures that did not register but I knew were happening. He lost skills, he suffered partial paralysis called Todd's paralysis, post seizures twice, and I was afraid that one day it would take his life. I felt it in my soul. During one hospital stay, one of his seizures felt like he was being ripped away from me. I felt sick to my stomach and my knees almost gave out. Hopefully you will never experience this. Multiple medications had failed him. He had suffered so much. We as a family were suffering right along with him. I share our story with you because I learned something and did something that changed our lives. Diet therapy can help reduce seizures or even completely stop them. I hope that our story will help you understand the power of food. You can harness this power to help support the health of your loved one that suffers from epilepsy. Maybe they have already been diagnosed with an irregular EEG and you'd like to prevent seizures. Prevention is also possible. Nathan was born in 2008. His seizures started due to illness when he was about 15 months old. I'd never seen anyone have a seizure before and watching my child seize made my heart free fall into the pit of my stomach. I didn't know what to do. Thankfully, my husband Henry was home. He was in law enforcement and he had been trained on what to do. He helped me remain calm. He held Nathan while I called 911. And this was the beginning of the next few years that would include many tests and hospital visits. One year, we almost didn't make it home for Christmas because Nathan's seizures could not be controlled. During one visit to the hospital for refractory epilepsy, meaning uncontrollable seizures, Nathan was holding his breath during the seizure and turning blue. While our neurologist came to the room to evaluate Nathan, I asked about diet therapy. I didn't know much about it, but I wondered if it was a possible treatment option since multiple medications were failing. The doctor immediately said to me that he did not think it was a good option. He said Nathan would have to be having more than 100 seizures a day to be considered a good candidate for the diet. I did not know what the right answer was at that moment, but I felt that his answer was not the right one for Nathan. As I stood in that hospital room, looking at my son, laying there, unconscious, loaded up on Ativan to try to stop his seizures, I knew that we had to look for other options. What is the difference between having 100 seizures and laying in a bed loaded with medications to calm his brain? This was no way to live. At this point, The only treatment option was to chase the dose or add new medications that had already failed multiple times. I am not insane, and this, by definition, is insanity. 
A fire was lit inside of me. If the doctor wasn't going to help me get results, I was going to find somebody that would. Hey guys, it's Amanda here. As you know, we're here for you, our community. If you have questions about any topics we can discuss in our podcast, or if you have ideas for future episodes, we'd love to hear from you. All you need to do is email me at dearamanda at angelman.org. Thank you so much for listening and your continued support of the Angelman Syndrome Foundation. Changing in course. Once we were home and settled, I started researching diet therapy. The first book that I bought was called Treating Epilepsy Naturally by Patricia A. Murphy. Diving into that book, I knew I was on the right track. My intuition was guiding me and the research, books, and people were confirming it. Go with your gut. Let your God-given mommy intuition guide you. The teachers revealed themselves as I was ready to learn. I met other mothers using diet therapy with great success and they were happy to share their experience with me. Once I knew that diet therapy was something I wanted to try for Nathan, I had to find the right medical team to support us. It took some time and several conversations, but I finally found the right neurologist and nutritionist with the experience needed to support us. Nathan has been completely seizure-free for several years now. His sleep is much improved. His acid reflux and constipation are gone. I get to light the torch for you now. What is diet therapy? The ketogenic diet has been a proven effective treatment for epilepsy for 100 years now. Are you surprised that you weren't told about that option or the research when your child was diagnosed with epilepsy? I was. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, low carb diet. Does it sound complicated? It will take a little time to learn, as with all new things, but let me give you a sample dinner. Chicken thighs, a side of broccoli drizzled with olive oil, and a half of an avocado. Portion size will be taken into consideration for each individual based on their needs. Eating real food is best. Blending real food for those with feeding issues is also an option on the diet. There are now several diet therapy programs available to help with epilepsy. They are the classic ketogenic diet, modified keto, medium chain triglycerides or MCT, modified Adkins, and the low glycemic index treatment we call LGIT. The low glycemic index treatment was developed by Dr. Ron Tebert, Dr. Elizabeth Thiel, and registered dietitian Heidi Pfeiffer. If those names sound familiar, it's because they're also well-known experts for our loved ones with Angelman Syndrome. In 2007, the Angelman Syndrome Foundation funded their study using the low glycemic treatment on a small group of individuals with Angelman Syndrome and epilepsy. The findings were significant. The diet therapy was highly effective at treating AS-related seizures and it was well tolerated by the individuals. All of the subjects that remained on the diet had up to 90% seizure reduction after one year of being on the diet. That is incredible. I challenge you to find the statistical evidence on medications you are currently giving. Watching my child suffer from a seizure is heartbreaking and makes me feel hopeless. At that moment, I am helpless. There is nothing that I can do, but with diet therapy, each meal I get to prepare for him helps his brain and his body fight those seizures. This is what I get to do for him. I prepare his food every day with love. Resources and Connection Today, I host a Facebook group called the Low Glycemic Index Treatment for Angelman Syndrome and Epilepsy, where I share information and resources. If you would like to connect with me to learn more, I invite you to connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. Nathan has been seizure-free for several years now, and I'm grateful for that every single day. We stopped his seizures, despite his genetics. In closing, I am an ASF Family Resource Team member, founder of Angelman Today, 
and have spoken at ASF conferences and held many webinars for the Angelman community. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, click that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening to the ASF podcast. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to support us, please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating or review. And please don't forget to subscribe.